Yo, people, yo, people. So we've all heard the news. Somebody tried to assassinate former President Trump. And fortunately, they failed. However, unfortunately, a fatality was still incurred as a result of the shooting. A man by the name of Corey Comperatore was killed at this event. And my thoughts are with his family and friends and all those who are mourning his loss. Now, there's been a lot of discussion about what caused this and why did this shooter decide to kill President Trump? And there's many theories going around. However, the kind of Occam's razor theory, the most obvious answer, is that he may well have been listening to and ingesting rhetoric like this. I, I, I just don't even know why there aren't uprisings all over the country, and maybe there will be. People need to start taking to the streets. This is a dictator. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. Enemies of the state. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Do something about your dad's immigration practices, you feckless. When they go low, we kick. How do you resist the temptation to run up and wring her neck? The biggest terror threat in this country is white men, most of them radicalized right up to the right. I thought he should have punched him in the face. I said, even if you lost, he insulted your wife. Yes. He came down the escalator and called Mexicans rapists and murders. He said, well, what do you think I should have done? I said, I think you should have punched him in the face and then gotten out of the race. Well, you would have been a hero. I'd like to punch him in the face. I said, if we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. Punch some people in the face! When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump, and that's a fact. Look as his character is stabbed to death. Where is John Wilkes Booth when you need him? I have thought an awful lot about blowing up the White House. A Missouri state senator is under investigation by the Secret Service after saying she hopes President Trump is assassinated. I will go and take Trump out tonight. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. And sadly, the domestic enemies to our voting system and wow. our honoring our Constitution are, are right at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. They're not going to stop before Election Day in November, and they're not going to stop after Election Day. And that should be, everyone should take note of that on both levels, that this isn't, they're not going to let up, and they should not. If you think we're rallying now, you ain't seen nothing. Most importantly, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Trump is a threat to this nation. So there you go. There you go. Right. And it's that last clip that undergirds all of the, the previous bits that you heard. Right. The idea that all of this violence is justified because Donald Trump is a horrible, evil human being, a threat to democracy, a racist, bigoted, fascist, modern day Hitler. Right. If you continue to spread this propaganda around incessantly. You cannot be surprised when somebody says, you know what, they, somebody takes you seriously and says, I'm going to try and end this. Right, because let's think about this, right? Let's say you're, you're a drone, right? One of these, these, these bots that listens to all the crap, nonsense propaganda that the media and the Democrat Party put out, right? And you believe that Trump is racist. Trump is sexist. Trump is bigoted. Trump is a threat to democracy. Trump's a threat to the nation. Trump's a dictator. Trump is Hitler. Just so you listen to all of this, right? And then you see that he is he is running as the president Republican nominee for president. And according to the polling, a lot of the polling is suggesting that he is ahead. So it's looking like it's looking likely at the, as of right now that Donald Trump will be the president of the United States come 2025. You have to be honest, right? If you ingest all of this propaganda, you can see where the shooter may, may have gotten this crazy idea from. Because if Donald Trump really is Adolf Hitler, right, it's kind of hard for Democrats to turn around and say, well, you know, nobody should do any harm to him. We should beat Hitler in free and fair elections. Right, because it looks like you're losing this free and fair election. That's what all the polling suggests. And if the idea is that the moment Donald Trump takes office, democracy in this country is over, Right. Some people may who take that to heart may think that the appropriate response is to kill him. Right. Because all of the lies and the bullshit that the Democrat Party, that the left wing has put out. 
for years about this man because you have to understand something about the left wing, right? And lefties across just not just the United States, but the West is that these people are the real radicals. These people are the real threat. There are a lot of normal kind of lefties who aren't radical, but there are lots, right? A lot more than the boogeyman, white supremacist, far right neo-Nazis that everybody makes out are just lurking around every corner. There is a lot more of these kind of radicals. You're seeing it online everywhere now. You're seeing Democrats who are not shocked and appalled by what happened to Donald Trump. Instead, they are saying that it's a shame that, that the guy missed. It's unfortunate that he missed. People, right, ironically enough, because, you know, this, this is an example that's been put out there. People claiming that the shooting was fake. It was all staged. Now, obviously, you'll remember, you'll remember a certain man, right, who, who, who I think runs a company called Infowars, claiming that the Sandy Hook shooting was fake. And he was sued to the tune of a billion dollars for it. So one has to ask now to all the Democrats that are coming out and claiming that this was all faked and staged, right? When, when are they getting sued? When, when is a billion dollars getting taken from them? I'm just wondering, right? Because apparently that's the standard now. But this is what happens when you ramp up this kind of rhetoric for years, basically ever since the man became president back in 2016. This was the rhetoric. This was the rhetoric ever since that day, was the idea that Donald Trump is Hitler, the modern day edition America. That is what this is. And, you know, we have all these hypotheticals. I'm sure you've done this a lot with your mates, right? You know, if you were if you were in Nazi Germany in 1920 something and you came across Adolf Hitler, would you kill him? And most people say yes. Most people say yes to prevent, obviously, the evils of the Holocaust, to prevent World War II and all the rest of the damage that Adolf Hitler did. Most people say yes. Right. So when you ramp up the idea that Donald Trump is Hitler, when he clearly isn't, Right. And that his supporters are basically Nazis. Right. You cannot be remotely surprised when somebody goes and does something like this. Again, the shooter is the one to blame here. But I would bet money on the idea that he was egged on by a lot of the rhetoric you just saw. I'd be willing to bet money on it. I know there's people coming out saying there's all these reports. Oh, he's a registered Republican. Now, I want to I want to talk about this, first of all, because it is also true that he has apparently donated $15, it's on record, that he donated $15 to some kind of left-wing campaign thing. I can't remember what it was, right? Who cares, frankly? And on top of that, this was a point that was I've heard raised, is that a lot of people will, for example, register as Republicans for the purposes of fucking with, with Donald Trump in the primary. So, for example, a lot of people claimed that when Donald Trump was running against Nikki Haley, that a lot of the votes that were Nikki Haley was getting were actually Democrats registering as Republicans for the purposes of fucking over Donald Trump in the primaries. So, you know, just saying he's a registered Republican, this is not a this is not a MAGA extremist, people. I'm sorry, but as much as they try and blame ev basically every crime on MAGA and Donald Trump, right? You can't pin the assassination attempt of Donald Trump on Donald Trump supporters. I'm sorry, that one ain't going to fly, people. That one just is not going to fly. But that's that's actually when the media is brave enough to call it an assassination attempt. Obviously, you know, in the aftermath of this whole event, the media refused, it seemed abjectly, to actually call this an assassination attempt. They, they, they were doing this, like, weasel wording to get around what was blatantly obvious, which was this was an attempt to kill President Trump. And I would bet money on the fact that the reason this man did it is the Democrat hero complex that I have talked about extensively on this channel, right? Is the idea that Democrats view this election and, and most elections, especially ones that involve Donald Trump through the prism of good versus evil, and they think they're on the side of good. They think that when they go and they take off Biden-Harris on the ballot, that the reason they are doing that is because they are good, virtuous people. And Joe Biden is too. The reason you vote for Donald Trump is because you love Hitler. You're a neo-Nazi, white supremacist, evil human being, and so is Donald Trump, your leader. Let's be real about this. This propaganda is finally come to a head, right? The result of years, years of lying about this man, slandering him openly, has come to a head. Somebody finally decided to take out the threat to democracy. And it's very hard for people like Joe Biden to come out and pretend like this was a horrible thing. No, no, I don't condone political violence. Why? If he's Hitler, right, then surely this is justified, no? 
right? Pete, like you can't. It's, it's very hard to call a man basically Adolf Hitler for nigh on a decade, and then make out like well, the political violence isn't justified, right? Most people, again, in this in the in the modern world, think that if they encountered Adolf Hitler before he rose to power, they would have killed him to prevent what happened. And that same logic is probably what drove this man to try and eliminate President Trump because he thought he was saving them. He thought he was a hero, the Democrat hero complex. He thought that he was a good guy, a hero, somebody who was going to be remembered for saving the republic. That's probably what this idiot thought when he tried to kill President Trump. It would be my guess that the reason he believed this is because it was fed to him by the Democrat Party and by the mainstream media who have spread these toxic, poisonous lies for years. And I mean, even Joe Biden doesn't seem to be all that strong in his condemnation, frankly. Let's have a listen to this. But the idea, the idea that there's political violence or violence in America like this is just unheard of. It's just not appropriate. I mean, everybody. Oh, it's just not appropriate. Yeah. Because, the, and this is something that Matt Walsh, he responded to this and he said this, right? Like, not appropriate, right? He said it's like, is, is what I say to my children when they belch at the dinner table, right? That's what he said. It's true, right? It's like, this this is your response, right? But it's no surprise. And it's very hard to actually justify turning around and saying this was an atrocious event. Now, remember, for example, January 6th, right? These people have waffled it incessantly. This is another part of the propaganda, right? This is their... This is their supposed proof that Donald Trump is a fascist dictator. It was January 6th, right? Where only one person was killed, and that person was Ashley Babbitt, right? And these people have waffled on incessantly about how January 6th is basically 9-11 for years on end. Now you have seen somebody actively try and assassinate Donald Trump, and their response is, well, it's just not appropriate. Now imagine, imagine if Donald Trump went on air and said, yeah, January 6th wasn't appropriate. Anyways... Right. Imagine if he'd have done that. But somebody tries to kill Donald Trump. He's like, oh, that's, just, that's not appropriate. It's not appropriate. No, no. It's a despicable act of political violence, people. That's what this is. The reason I think he doesn't want to harp on this too much as well is because he probably knows the kind of person that did this. A radical leftist who was in, probably indoctrinated by a lot of the propaganda put out by the left wing. And you have to understand the left wing has had these views for a long time. If you're somebody on the right, like somebody like, you know, you're, if you're in the UK, you get labeled as a gammon a lot, right? They call you a gammon. But understand that they don't just think you're vile and disgusting. A lot of the people on the left wing, right, want you to die. This has fundamentally been obvious for a long time. I've seen this, for example, in my country, the UK, Margaret Thatcher, who obviously was not assassinated. She died of natural causes, Right. People now have been chanting for years. Lefties, like Labour lefties, have been chanting for years. Ding dong, the witch is dead about Margaret Thatcher for a very long time, right? Like the lefties want right wingers to die, a lot of them. They like it when you die. That is why you are seeing the reaction that you're seeing to this. The idea that, that President Trump deserved this and that it's a shame that the guy missed. And as I touched on earlier, some people are coming out and saying that the whole thing was fake. So let's have a listen to one of those instances. I mean, it's a little weird, you know, that this is America and shooters don't miss unless they're hired to. People often flee the scene of a shooting, but these people did not. Instead, they crouched down, not enough to protect themselves, just enough so they could keep recording. And when they saw that the Cheeto Puff was okay, they erupted into applause and the Secret Service still did not rush him off the stage because there was no active threat perceived, even though it had not been declared that the shooter had been apprehended. And I'm just wondering something that I can't say out loud. <laughs> So there you go. Here we have an arrogant moron who's claiming that the whole thing was staged. As I pointed out earlier, Alex Jones was sued for this to the tune of a billion dollars. And she's just implying basically, right? She didn't say it out loud, but she's implying that this whole thing was staged and set up. And not just that it was set up by Donald Trump. She's suggesting that the people in the crowd, right? One of whom is dead, people. Again, I have to remind you, Corey Comparatore died as a result of this attack, right? Was somehow complicit in this. This is what, this is what these people believe. And these people in the Democrat hero complex, they're so delusional that they just can't fathom the idea that a radical leftist would actually go and kill Donald Trump. They just can't, fa they can't believe it. And the ones that do believe it think it was justified. 
And then you have ones like this who say that, like, instead of accepting the obvious Occam's razor solution here, which is that some radical leftist tried to kill Donald Trump, they make out like it's a full-fledged conspiracy with the crowd to organize this whole thing just so that they, they can win an election. This is what they think of you. These people don't view left versus right as a disagreement. They don't view it as we disagree on tax rates. They view it as you are an evil human being. Somebody who, who killed a man. Somebody who was involved in the death of another human being. Somebody who staged a political assassination for the purposes of winning an election that Donald Trump was already looking like he was going to win. That is how these people think, right? That is what they think of you. These people look at you as scum and filth. Okay, that is what this is. And that is the result of the rhetoric. That is that is largely a result of the rhetoric that we have seen over the last few years. Where these people have labeled Donald Trump and his supporters basically the most evil human beings in the country. The modern Nazis. And you're surprised when people are, are skeptical. You're surprised when people want the modern Nazis to die. The rhetoric, this, this kind of nonsense rhetoric against Donald Trump has to end, people. Right, it has to end. Trump 2024, bruh. Please remember to like and subscribe, people, and see ya.